had this really awesome conversation with Lisa yesterday about the desire to be heard and understood by others and kind of the awareness that that no matter what, that only goes so deep that no other human being will ever fully understand your experience, that there is this deep level of thoughts and, and experiences that is sub shareable. And sometimes that can be alienating feeling like, well, no one really understands me. But I think that there's something beautiful about knowing that is that part is just between you and God or you and your higher self. But there is some fun, I think, or I enjoy the process of like, can you explain more of this stuff? And what is the barrier to explaining more of this layer? Because sometimes it's shame. Sometimes it's embarrassment. One of the things I really try to practice is if there, if I start to notice some thoughts or awareness or experience that is below that normal level of what is generally just ours, if I become aware of it, can I observe it and then, and then just speak it? So often what I'm doing is speaking my experience, but what I'm trying to do is saying, look what I just noticed. I just noticed this level of experience that is, I think in the realm that is just for us, but guess what? It doesn't have to be because we're all having similar things. I don't think you can ever get to the bottom of that well of unique human experiences, but there, there is this experience of saying something that you're embarrassed about and then realizing everybody has it. So it's just an interesting practice of going, of, of digging into and recognizing this, you know, deep below the surface thoughts that we have. When I say surface, the surface of shareable that we all have in our private experience of being a human being. And how much of that can be shared? I think part of intimacy is learning to trust people and, and go deeper and deeper into that. And I think person by person, some people have a really high realm of what feels comfortable shareable. And some people, the shareable level is really false. It's a facade. It's about sports and what they think they should be saying. And the, this, the entire level of their true inner thoughts and inner dialogue is protected. Sometimes you need to. Sometimes you've learned through very difficult experiences that you've got to keep that private. It's very dangerous. You can be kicked out of the tribe. You can be removed from the family. So intimacy is when you start to go, hey, look what happens below the surface in my mind. The objective is not simply to understand because I think to expect someone to understand your experience is you're bound to be let down. What you can hope for is to be heard and to be accepted. So when I am listening to someone share their raw truth, I cannot promise that I will understand everything you're saying and I will understand your experience, but I can promise that I will listen and I will accept whatever it is. And then through time, I think there's more understanding that can happen. There's more dots that can be made between your experience and my experience and your fears and my fears and your anxieties and my anxieties. And so we can kind of get like a, a framework of, of understanding and connection, even though it isn't a complete understanding. It is an acceptance. It is being heard. That's, that's the path of, of connection. What do you think? Am I onto something? Or is this, is this, is this a thought below the surface that should not be shared?